Here is an interesting geometric puzzle where we have been given four identical squares of areas 16 square units each and they are touching each other like this forming a chain and they are all aligned with their sides vertical and horizontal and then there is a circle which is circumscribing this arrangement of squares and it is touching them at points A, B and C and we are supposed to find the area of this circumscribing circle. I first encountered this problem on the WhatsApp group of Mensa India and uh, after solving it, I realized this problem doesn't take very long calculation or some intricate formulae, but it takes uh, a couple of insights. And that nature of this problem or this puzzle pointed to a possible source and I checked and it turned out to be true. It indeed came from Catriona Shearer, a Scottish school teacher who has amazing creativity in creating these problems. So you can check out her uh, Twitter post for more of these. So let's see how we can solve them. Uh, if you want to solve it on your own, uh, you can pause the video here. Otherwise, uh, we can go ahead with the solution. Let us start by copying the three points A, B, C, forming a triangle like this over here. Then let us mark some distances. To start with, each square has area 16 and therefore its side is going to be four. Now, if we start moving from A to B, say first vertically like this, four units, and then horizontally, four units, four units, four units, and four units. Then the distances are 16 in the horizontal direction, four in the vertical direction. And that helps us calculate the length AB as well as AC. Here AB will be 16 square plus four square root of that, that is square root of 272. AC would be square root of 16 square plus 8 square, so giving us square root 320. And knowing the three sides of this triangle, now we can calculate this angle here. We can use the cosine rule for calculating theta. It will give us cos theta equal to AB square plus AC square, the two adjacent sides, minus BC square, the square of the opposite side, divided by AB into AC. Substituting these values, we get cos theta as 0 0.976, which makes theta 12.5288 degrees. Now, if we look at this triangle with reference to the circumcircle, then we realize that if we take this point, say, A, and start moving it over the circle, then the angle subtended there is not going to change at all. And that kind of gives us a freedom of placing it anywhere. And therefore, I'm going to place it at the most convenient position, which happens to be here. You might have noticed why we have chosen this particular position, because in this position, this line A dash B passes through the center. And that makes this line A dash B a diameter. That also makes this angle over here 90 degrees, because now it's an angle subtended in a semicircle. So we have a right angle triangle here. We know this angle, we know its opposite side, so we can find the hypotenuse, which happens to be the diameter. It's going to be the opposite side 4 divided by sine of theta. So let's get sine theta, which is 0 0.976, and simply divide the opposite side 4 by sine theta, which gives us diameter 18.439, and then the area as 276 square units. 